So today's video is going to be an empties video, an old school classic OG 2013 YouTube video. I've used up a ton of crap. I would have way more stuff to show you. I would have way more crap to show you in today's video, but about a month ago, my mom threw away my empties bag. You guys know the empties bag that I've had for literally like seven years now? That same Sephora bag that I was using for my empty videos for years and years and years. My mom threw it away. I went to go look for it and I was like, mom, where's my Sephora bag with all my like empties in it? And when I showed her what I was talking about, she was like, oh, I threw that away. I thought that was garbage. I was like, it was garbage, but it was my garbage. <laughs> I was so upset, okay? I had so many good empties in there, so many good empties in there, but it's fine. I have collected and accumulated more. There are a couple things in here, I believe, that I have not used up because I just didn't like them. So this is a products I've used up and products I didn't like video. <laughs> All right, let's begin. Okay, I went through a surf proof setting spray from Cali Ray. This is my favorite setting spray ever. It's hydrating, it's long wearing, it's everything you want in a setting spray. The mist is super fine, it's compact, good to travel with, it's a cutie little patootie. 10 out of 10 setting spray. Of course I would repurchase. I already have. Same goes for my Tower 28 little intensive rescue serum. Still a few little squirts left. <laughs> this is the second bottle I go through. This is my favorite serum. I use it underneath my foundation every single day. I use it on my skin like every day. I love it. It's really good for my sensitive skin. I went through this little guy. This is the Super Goop Every Single Face Watery Face Lotion SPF 50. I loved this. I used it every single day. I would repurchase it, but I'm currently obsessed with the SPF 50 from Prequel, the skincare brand. Oh my gosh, it's so good. So I honestly don't see myself repurchasing this one anytime soon, but I did really like it while I used it. Super lightweight. It's exactly what it says it is. It's a very watery lotion so it's not too thick and greasy it's you don't even feel it it's awesome I feel very strongly about these two products like very 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 strongly about these two products these are two of my favorite things in the entire world I went through a lush super milk nothing <laughs> nothing there is nothing on this planet that makes my hair smell better than the lush super milk I don't even care about the formula I don't care because honestly it doesn't really hydrate my hair that much at least not for like my really dry curly hair if you have straight hair or like naturally normally hydrated hair I think you'll like this formula but for me the magic is in the scent this smells like lemony cupcakes in the best way in the best way it's not too tart lemony it's so creamy and honestly the amount of compliments i get when i put this shit in my hair it's next level it's wild i went to the beach with my best friends over the summer last summer and while we were in the ocean they didn't shut up about how good my hair smelled every time a little breeze would catch me they would all be like, ah, oh, you smell so good. And it's this, and it's this. I definitely recommend you purchase the smaller bottle over the big size because if you don't use this within a year, it does start to smell a little bit sour. Lush products, obviously they use like natural ingredients, so I highly recommend you use it within the year, but it is, bro, 12 out of 10. And of course I would repurchase, I already have. And Fleur's Vanilla Skin. Oh, this is the best hair and body mist ever, ever, ever. I will die on this hill. No hair and body mist compares. It is vanilla, but in a grown-up way. It's sexy, it's cozy, it's warm, it's inviting. You just wanna like snuggle in my neck when I wear this. Honestly, for a freaking hair and body mist, I was so shocked at how long it lasts on the skin. People were still complimenting my scent hours after I put this on and this would be like the only thing I wear. It's insane how long lasting it is because I feel like it even lasts longer than my Fleur Missing Person perfume, and that's a perfume. This is a fragrance mist. They usually don't last that long, but this one really does. I love it. It is my favorite Fleur body mist. I've tried them all, and this one's the best one. And of course I would repurchase. I already have! <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so annoying, I'll stop, I'll stop. I went through a Living Proof um, Restore Repair hair mask. I really, really love these hair masks. They're silicone free, super thick and hydrating. I love the packaging. I would 100% repurchase. I love Living Proof as a brand. They're so amazing for my really dehydrated curly hair. I love them, I love them all. I've loved all the Living Proof hair masks I've tried. Highly recommend. Okay, so I went through this a while ago. I just hadn't thrown it into my bag until recently. This is the Item Beauty Boost Juice Dual Ended Lash Primer. I don't even think Item Beauty is a thing anymore. I tried to go look for this mascara again to repurchase it when I did run out of it, and I couldn't find it. I 
loved this mascara. It was my favorite blue mascara ever, ever, ever. It comes with a really good primer on one end, then the blue mascara on the other, and it was just honestly so amazing. So it's a big bummer that they don't make it anymore because I would totally repurchase. It's great. Actually, let's just bang out these mascaras. I didn't finish the highly rated lash extensions tubing mascara from Milani because I hated this. It clumped all of my lashes together. I used it a few times to try to really make it work with a spoolie because I love Milani. I love tubing mascaras, but this one, not it. I threw the J-Cat Rockin' Glitz like liquid eyeliner in here because I really didn't like this. It's so light. It's almost like a charcoal gray, not black at all. And even as a brand new product, I barely got any product, so I did not like this. Speaking of missing person, I went through a Fleur missing person. Oh, I love this perfume so much. It's so cozy and romantic. I know it's very polarizing. You either hate this or you love this. I happen to really, really love this. It's just so romantic. And I always buy travel sprays because it doesn't last that long on my skin, but I love it so much. I just love to reapply. I went through a few native deodorants. I love these little guys. They're so easy to throw into your purse. Coconut and vanilla will always be my favorite one. But I really liked this spiked eggnog during the holidays. This was nice. Oh my god, well, was it nice? I did not like this eyeliner, lip liner. This is the Hot Liner Hyaluronic Acid Plumping Lip Liner from Kosas. I had this for a week before it dried out. A week before it turned into a freaking rock. Also, oh my... <laughs> that smells... Like a corpse. Like what I would imagine a corpse smelling like. Oh, I hope I never ever have to smell a corpse. Dried up so fast, smells like acid chemicals. I don't know what the hell is in this. I like Kosas, but I do not like this. Stay far away from these lip liners, folks. I've gone through a few of the Glossier Brow Flicks. I love these so much. It's my favorite brow product ever. Truly, ever, ever, ever. I cannot do my brows with a regular brow pencil anymore ever since I discovered the Brow Flick. I will never go back. I will never go back. I'm currently using the blonde one because it matches more with my warmer hair, but I was using brown for a really long time. Ride or die for these guys. I went through the Bigger Than Beauty Moisture Flash Conditioning Toner Mist. I was just using this every single day, like after I washed my face. I would just spray my face with this, and I really liked it. I was kind of using it as like a lazy girl moisturizer. I was washing my face and just spraying myself down, and it was really hydrating on the skin. I really, really liked it. Good stuff. I love Bigger Than Beauty skincare. Their skincare is so good. You can get it at Thrive Cosmetics. All their skincare is like dermatologist tested. Good stuff. Okay. I've, oh, I put this in the bag because I really like the formula, but I can't, I cannot do the scent, so I have to get rid of it. Oh, I put it in the bag just for this video, but I'm gonna give it to my mom. This is the RMS Lip Nights. It's the sleepover lip mask. And like I said, it makes my lips feel really nice and hydrated, but it smells like way too earthy, way too earthy herbally for me. And I'm like smelling it as I'm laying in bed and I don't like that. So unfortunately, love the formula, hate the scent. So I can't do it, I can't, I can't do it. Okay, I went through one of the Typology face creams. I love this face cream so much. I'm not gonna lie, I was slathering that shit down to my titties. <laughs> I love the way that this smells. It smells like almonds. It's so fantastic. Of course I would repurchase. I already have. Okay, something I didn't love. The Saltaire Santal Bloom Dry Shampoo smells fantastic. I love the Santal Bloom um, scent. It's honestly one of my favorite Santal kind of scents because the Le Labo one is just too strong for me. This one is a nice, summerier, lighter version. I love Saltaire's Santal Bloom, but this dry shampoo left my, my scalp really dry. I don't know what it is about it, but it dried out my scalp a little bit, and I didn't love how intense the white cast was. I felt like I couldn't really um, shake it out. So I'm gonna give this one to my mom. She has like lighter, blonder hair than me, so I feel like it could work for her. I don't know, it just wasn't my cup of tea, I gotta say. I went through the U Beauty, the Mantle Skin Conditioning Wash. This stuff is so good. Really hydrating, nourishing, moisturizing, calming, just absolutely a beautiful face wash. U Beauty is a very, very pricey brand, but their skincare is so, so good. And honestly, I wouldn't go out and buy this right away because I have so many face washes that I have to go through, but I did really, really like it. Something I didn't like. Something I didn't like. I, I, I do, but I don't. I used it up, <laughs> so obviously I like it. But this is the um, Extra Milk Perfume from Dead Cool. And I like it, but it's just way too light. It's way too light. I can barely smell it. I have to like spray a lot and really, really sniff to really get that milk. I honestly wish it was a little bit stronger because I do like the scent. So if it was stronger, I feel like it would be so, so beautiful, perfect for every day. But honestly, for how light it is, I don't think it's worth it. I went through a little Thrive Cosmetics tubing mascara, best freaking mascara ever. I went through... <laughs> 
Okay, Pat McGrath Contour Lip Liner. Guys, I've gone through so many of these. So many of these. This is my favorite lip liner to ever exist. My most used lip liner, my most worn. Of course I would repurchase, I already have. Ooh, this was really, really good while I was using it. This is the Patrick Ta Major Brow Lamination Gel. This is some intense shit, okay? This really does like laminate your brows, stick them down, hold them down. This is really intense. I love this so much. I'm just currently really loving the Rare Beauty one, so I haven't gone out to repurchase this, but I did love this so much. I would definitely buy it again. But okay guys, that completes this video. Those were other products I recently used up and some stuff that I'm just getting rid of because they, they didn't really work for me. But yeah, I hope you still like these videos and that they're helpful. I feel like if I'm using up a product, you know if it's good or not, you know? But that completes this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so, so, so much. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye.